Can you teach your body emotionally what your future is going to feel like before it's made manifest? Mm. And don't get up until you feel that way. Now, practice that for a few days and then see if you can stay in that state and watch all of a sudden all those weird doors start opening for you. Synchronicities. Synchronicities, yeah. whatever they are. <clears throat> Number two, take a time at the end of your day, the end of your day before you lay down and give thanks for your life and feel gratitude and really teach your body what it feels like. The emotional signature of gratitude, when gratitude means mm. you're getting something. <clears throat> if I give you something that's of value, you would say thank you because you would feel it, right? So when you're receiving, you're giving thanks. So gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving. Mm. So then people only accept, believe, and surrender to the thoughts equal to their emotional state. Right. So if you're in a state of gratitude, every thought's gonna make it right down into your body. If you're saying, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, and your body's programmed in negativity, it's saying, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not. That thought's gonna stop right here. So as you elevate your state, there are about 1,200 different chemical reactions that go on in the body that begin to restore and repair the body in a state of gratitude. And so we've done the research to prove that. 10 minutes and just feel it with all of your heart. That's it. Wow. Third thing, and, and very important, take time, whenever it is, <clears throat> sit down and close your eyes and begin to just open your awareness to the space around you and just sense it and pay attention to it and become more aware of it. The act of opening your awareness begins to reduce the stress hormones and creates more mm -hmm. coherent brainwave states. And I'm doing it right now. It's just a practice. Yeah. It's just a practice.